Hello YouTubers, this is Jerome back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to land on Duna on KSP 0.17. So let's get started. Yeah. Uh, I had some, I already recorded this, but I had some audio problems, so I will have to record it all over again. Now, uh, let's go out, and this is Kerbin, and this is Duna right over here. So to begin, you want Kerbin as close to Duna as possible. Maybe like a 35 degree angle, that's pretty good. So to do that, just speed up time right over here. And this is Kerbin, and it will move faster than Duna considering it's closer to the star. So let's just wait until uh, Kerbin gets close enough, and you could do that on your, you know, computer. Stuff like that. I did get to Jewel, and I actually landed on it, even though it is a gas planet. It was a bit glitchy, definitely. I was expecting to go through it, but that did not happen. Because, uh, you know, probably gas planets are probably, you know, solid core in the middle. All right, we're getting pretty close to Duna right now. Just a little bit closer. Um, just a little bit closer. The closer, the better, you know? Yeah, closer, the better. I just wait for it. We're waiting for it like there's no tomorrow. And by the way, for the fuel, you just double up the fuel that you usually take to the MUN. Uh, that's how much fuel you probably need. So that, that's a buttload of fuel. That's a lot. Okay, this is good. This is a lot closer than 35, but... Oh well. Now, this is the Nostromo. This is the, the you know, the awesome. There's a ton of fuel, more than enough to get to the moon, like several times. So, let's just launch. And what you want to do is you want to get into orbit. Now, this can be the worst orbit of all time, but just get your thing into orbit. Uh, it could be lopsided, uh, lopsided, anything. Uh, sorry if I'm, like, breathing a lot. My nose is all clogged up. It's because it's allergies. It just sucks. It's just terrible. I hate when seasons change. I would like them constant. I don't like the winter that much. I like the winter, but it, it just really it's dry. Like, ugh. Yep, it, it's a dry, dry winters. So let's just go up and just, you know, get into orbit, like I said. And you, this will probably take you around, like, 15, 20 minutes at max uh, to land there if you follow these steps. And they're pretty simple steps. Uh, get into orbit. Now, I'm going to try to land, but I'm just going to warn you right now, this little bird over here, not little, I guess, this bird is extremely heavy, and it's going to be a bit difficult for me to land, because I'm trying to speed up this video. Uh, so just turn to the right, and make sure you always stay horizontal. Uh, don't start to, like, randomly turn. Make sure you stay on this degree path, because uh, you don't want to go all lopsided. It's going to be really difficult for you to land then. So I'll just match this. Make sure that this is on this line over here. I'm not sure if you can see my mouse. Um, I'm using a different computer. I'm actually using my Dell computer. This thing is pretty old. I can't believe it's still it's running on this. Uh, okay. Bam. Now. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Thank goodness it's Friday. It's awesome. I've been feeling sick this whole weekend. Not weekend, weekdays. Week. Oh, God. Oh god, inertia. Too much inertia. Okay. Hey, look at that. It looks pretty nice. On the bottom, there's like a reflection of us. Okay, so... It doesn't matter if you take off during the day or the night. For me, it doesn't really matter. Because I, I do adjustments for it. So remember, just do an orbit. If you don't know how to do an orbit, you are way ahead of what you should be doing. Uh, you should figure out how to do an orbit first and get to the MUN for like at least the most basic now see this is going to be a really bad orbit but it will work for what we need to do okay so everything's stable just waiting for this and now when it starts to, when it leaves the uh, um the what's i'm gonna call them i don't know what to call it jews <laughs> what did i just say what did i say i think i said jews that's not what i meant at all uh when it leaves the gravity of kerbin and goes in the gravity of the kerbal that's the sun Oh, there you go. Once it turns yellow like that, press X immediately. And then after that, uh, fast forward forward until this yellow turns into a blue, like the normal blue that you're usually on. So let's go forward. Wait for the blue. Wait, wait for the blue. Wait for the blue. Wait, wait for the blue. We're waiting, guys. Waiting is very important. You know, if you don't wait, how do you expect to get to places? Oh, there you go. Now we are at blue. Click that and get your aircraft, spacecraft, 
to that little green point that's usually on your map. Just get just get it in the center and press T on it. And I highly recommend you have an advanced SAS module because that will help you out a buttload. So just click this up so you can see this and slowly go. Whoa, what's going on here? Slowly go forward. So now you are gonna watch the apostopisis. The uh, apoasis. There you go. Yes. Get very close to the orbit of Duna. So let's speed up a little bit. And once it starts to get pretty close, slow it down a lot. Uh, so this may not be the most fuel efficient route, but this definitely works for me. Uh, so slowly but surely, you will get there. Uh, now slow down a lot because you don't want something to happen. And now it will, something will probably happen around this area, maybe even over here. But remember to keep it really slow so you can cancel it out as fast as possible once you see the intersection course. And that is yellow, if you're wondering. So we'll probably come out somewhere around here. Really slow down. Because you want it to be up for at least like two seconds. And then press X immediately to shut off your engines. So just wait for it. Wait with everything you have. Yes, sir. Now, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Yeah, we're going to make it. We're going to make it so hard. That's what she said. Yep. I'm. I hope my audio is fine because I really don't want to record this over again. It's gonna really suck because this is like my second time. So just slowly, but but you will get there. You know, it's, it's all about it's all about how you take things. What is this? No, guys. I don't know. This is probably a bad time to make a video. Uh, I'm working. Oh, there you go. There you go. We have something here. There is something here. I don't know what it is, but it's something. I think that still counts. It's glitching a little bit. It's not sure. But we're going to say that it counts. So we're going to go forward. Oh, no. It doesn't count. Oh, yes, it does. What? What's going on here? I'm confused. I hope it counts. Please count, baby. Count, 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 count. It's glitching for me. This isn't good. This might happen to you, too. I hope it doesn't, but it might. You never freaking know with this stuff. You knows? Come on. Come on. I hope it counts. I, I really want it to count like really freaking bad. It's better count. I'm going to be mad, man. I'm going to be so mad. I pressed X at the right time. I did everything correctly. It's glitching. I'm so nervous. I don't know if it's going to count or not. I really hope it freaking counts. This is weird. Oh, it counts. Thank goodness. There you go. So now you have an intersection course. And as soon as that popped up, I pressed X to shut off all engines. So that is amazing. That's real. Oh, what the sh? Okay, I'm, this is making me mad. This is making me really mad. I don't like it. I don't like this stuff. I don't like these games, these shenanigans. It better freaking count. I'm going to punch someone. Okay, now. Jesus, this is so freaking nerve wracking. We're go this is going to work. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Why would it not work? I mean, come on, people. This is going to work. Just keep your head in the game. You know what you know what they say, right? Two plus two equals three, but four at the same time. Oh, it counts! Yay! Happy faces. I just did some random math that made no sense. Okay, let's slow down now. Now, once we get to the yellow part, we're gonna have to slow our aircraft down because it's going like at about seven thousand, six thousand meters per second. That is very fast. Uh. So, I forgot the name of the probe, but there is a sp space probe that is going to Pluto, and it will arrive there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It will arrive there in 2015. Now, line up to the yellow spot right over here uh, with your orange spot. Just line it up real good like there's no tomorrow. Bam. Now, oh, wait. Sorry, guys. Wrong side. Sorry. Do not match up with the yellow. Turn all the way around because you want to slow down. And come on, baby, hit me one more time. Yeah, uh, go all the way around and go to the green spot. The green spot is the red spot, I think. Yeah, slow down, slow down. So, what you want to do is you want to blast a little bit to make sure that you're going the right way. And if this goes a little bit higher, so watch this I'm going to blast a little bit over here. There you go, I'm going down. My speed is going down. That's very good. That means I'm slowing down. So, now if we press M and we zoom in a buttload, 
we can see right over there, this is Duna. And we are going to slow... Oh, no, no, what the... <laughs> now we're going to slow down a lot. As you can see, our speed is slowing down, like, a, a lot, obviously. Uh, so we are going to match this baby up. This is going to slowly turn into a circle. So here, I'll show it to you guys. Cause I like to show stuff, what can I say? Uh, this is Duna right in the middle. Right there, that little spot. This will slowly turn. It will. Okay, people. Do not... Oh. Okay, there you go. This will turn. Just just wait. We will have to wait for it to succeed. This is Duna right over here. Oh, I got a burp. I can't not burp. I'm going to hold in my burp. Hold it in. Hold it in. There you go. That's what I'm, That's the kind of circle I'm talking about. That's, that's the shit I like. Okay. Now... This is doing it right here. We we gotta get to Paraapsis, so let's go. Get, let's get over there. I never know how to pronounce that correctly. I gotta learn. I gotta Google it. No, go to like a dictionary. Oh, the phone's ringing. The phone's freaking ringing. I hate the phones. They piss me off. Oh my god. Oh well. A YouTuber never stops mid vid. Maybe. Okay, I've done that a lot of times. Never mind. Forget about it. This is bad advice. <laughs> okay, so now. We're going to get to the periapsis. This is good. This is always good. This is the closest point that we have to the planet. Now, now that we are here, stop at the periapsis. Go back to your position. I believe it is this dot right over here, the green dot. I think that's green. No, that's yellow. Let's see if the yellow works, just in case. Because you never want to be too right. What? What is this shit? No. uh what is this? What's going on here? This is not what I agreed to. Okay, shoot. No, it's always the green one. Why do I get the yellow one? I'm messing up. It's the green one, people. The green one. And this game is glitching on me. I don't like it at all. This is making me mad. I did everything freaking right. You're just you're just a jerk, space. Universe, you're an ass. Okay, now. No, bam, stop, st stop, stop it. Stop it. Come on. Oh, come on. So just line up to this green spot. Freaking, why does the green and the yellow look so similar? Okay. Maybe it's because it's on that retarded brown background. Okay, there you go. Now we are slowing down. And we're going to we're gonna go slow down like all the way. We're going to slow down so much that this, uh, the apopsis, oh, the periapsis is going to be into, into the planet. No, not the freaking moon. Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. Watch this. It's gonna, everything's going to line up right in the middle like we want it to. Like I planned all along. Bam. Okay. Okay. Woo. Now the planet's going to suck us in like there's no tomorrow. Planets do that kind of stuff. They like to suck stuff in. You know. I was about to land on the moon, but that's not what I want to do. I want to land on the planet. Oh, it looks like we're going to land in the crater. Oh, no, we're not. The planet's spinning. Never mind. Duh. Duh. Planets freaking spin. Come on. Get your head in the game. I know head in the game this ain't no game it's space slow down jesus okay <laughs> let's get a little bit closer uh bam stop stop moving i swear to god okay now now you guys this part is intense i have gotten you to the planet it is your job to land this motherfucker big ass dick okay now Halt the aircraft. We're going to land on this mofo. Shit. Shit. That's the shit I like. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, God. Sticky keys. My worst enemy. Full proportion. Full. 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 Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to freaking die. I'm dead. Sorry. Okay. Well, that did not work out. But I did um crash on the planet. I guess that counts for something. Uh, parachutes do work. They deploy at a very low altitude. So I'd recommend that you don't land on mountains and really scavenge it out. Uh, what I did was I didn't make an orbit around it to, like, check out the planet. I would highly recommend you do that. It's pretty easy. It's the same thing as Kerbin. Uh, we have managed to do now. Uh, thanks for watching. If you guys liked it, you know, like is always good. Hey, if you like it a lot and, you know, you like to subscribe to people, you know, that's, I'm pleased to subscribe, you know. Uh, <laughs> I leave a comment. I always read the comments. Comments are fun to read. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. So goodbye. Thank you for watching. Um, universe and beyond. Fuck yeah. Bye.
what do I press? Oh, 